gorgeous Veilers. This is your December overview. Last one for the year, 2021. Merry Christmas. Let's get straight into it. I am using the Toth Tarot. Yay. Let's go. Aries, let's have a look here. Straight off the top it is. Oh, I like it. Valor, bravery. There's going to be some hairy moments coming up through December that you're going to have to tackle head on. What I say is this, be brave. Don't get too emotionally uh, immersed in the drama. Rather, step back, just observe and fix what you can because I have to tell you it's going to be quite dramatic way to end the year, but you are going to be all right. Be brave. Taurus, yeah, uh, good luck to you. Failure. Whatever you're going to undertake in December, you might go, oh, my God, that's going to be epic. I'm going to be great. This is going to be fabulous. Your first few attempts might not work, okay? I feel it's like, though, don't give up. It's just not the right timing. If you give it a go in the new year, you're going to have much, much better results than you do in December. All righty. Let's keep going. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Gemini. Oh, dear. Ruin. <gasps> Please, for December, can ever, all the gems just stay home? Just don't fucking go anywhere. Just stay home for December. Uh, Ten of Swords is never a nice thing. It's ruin. Uh, stay close to home. Stay close to home. Beautiful gems. Oh, my God, my father was, is a Gemini. He's like, Mal. I'm like, I didn't. I just shuffled. I did nothing. I just shuffled. Please, Jem, stay home. Uh, fuck, what are we up to? What are you up to? Uh, cancer? You're up to cancer, I think. Success. Yay. The six of discs. Beautiful. Lots of success throughout December for the lovely crab legs of the Zodiac. I feel like I want to say there's two opportunities coming up during December, especially on December the 12th. So please jot that down, Cancerians. There's a lot of success coming to you. Leo, strength. Yay. And of course, the lion, the king of the jungle, of course, the king of the zodiac. The lovely Leos have a lot of strength and I feel it's going to be even buoyed higher. So there's going to be some real cool moments where, you know, you feel validated, your ego is stroked, whatever this is. You're just going to feel strong, powerful, loving, fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Virgo, dominion. This is you having control over you, where you live, your lifestyle. Be strong of your opinions and back yourself. This is you having power over your own dominion, over your own space, yeah? You might have to defend yourself a little bit. We know what it's like at Christmas Day lunch or Christmas Eve dinner. It's like, oh, you have to defend yourself a little bit to family and friends. Do what you have to do, Virgo. Do what you have to do. Lovely Libra, the Hierophant. This means learning. This means education and learnings. You might decide to take on a little course or take on a mentoring package, whatever this might be for you, Libra. You're going to learn a lot in December. And it could even be life lessons. Don't you fucking hate it? Life lessons. Libra, you've got a big one coming up. Scorpio, Ten of Cups, Satiety. You're going to be very pleased with how the year finishes off. I feel there's an abundance of all the good stuff, good food, good wine, good people, good conversation, good flow of money, good health, good spirituality, religious beliefs, whatever this is for you, everything steps up a level to prepare you for the onslaught that is 2022. Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune, one of the best cards in the deck, one of the major arcana cards. Spin the wheel, sweetheart. You can have, be, do, or think anything you like. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, go you. Capricorn, the moon. Take note of the cycles of the moon. You are the same. We're affected by moon cycles. If the farmers in Australia, the most down-to-earth, salt-of-the-earth people you could meet, govern their crops according to the moon cycles, how can we not think it affects us as well yeah so take note of where the different phases of the moon are and how you're feeling and if you feel you get a little bit cramey it's probably leading up to a full moon just take a step back just observe as we as with everything with life just be an observer Aquarius oh no I have to do it I've turned the card over a little bit of sadness during the month of December oh my god 
I've got to go with it. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, Lisa Mari. <laughs> Because I know you're a fellow Aquarian. I am too. A little bit of sadness. I have no idea what this is alluding to, but it might just be a little bit of sadness during the month of December. I find around Christmas time, I miss my dad even more because, you know, he's not here. He's passed on. It could be that kind of thing. Like we're missing our loved ones. Yeah. A little bit of sadness during December. Fuck. I'm so sorry about that. And to uh, beautiful Pisces, the last one, power to you, my darlings, to the little fishies. There's been some pretty hard-hitting cards, right, for December. Ah, well, who said life was easy? <laughs> it's interesting, not necessarily easy, but Pisces, beautiful power to you. You're going to feel so strong, so ready to face 2022. It's going to be quite epic, uh, the month of December for the lovely Pisceans. All righty. Oh, if you had a bad card like us Aquas did, don't hate my guts. i got to go with what comes out. All right. As always, that was your December overview. As always, I love taking you beyond the veil and Merry Christmas. And love, there's nothing but. This is the word to go, yo, yo. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Grown Ass Women TV, the ultimate slumber party. Yes, this is God TV, and that is a hashtag. Thanks for noticing. Thanks so much for noticing. I got my girls here, Mickey James and Lisa Marie Barron. We are hello, right here. And, and, and Pixie, our little God TV mascot. She can't help it. She's like desperate to be right in the shot today. Hello. She is a star. She's here for all the pup dates. I can't. <laughs> pup dates. But before we get to the fun, do us a quick favor and uh, use that hashtag GotTV on social media, but definitely like this video. Give us a thumbs cool. up, a little love tap. Stop definitely make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. Tell a friend and tell them to subscribe as well. And of course, click that bell icon. Sounds a little something like this. Ding, ding, ding. To, yes, to enable those notifications so you never miss another episode of Gaw TV. This is an episode, I believe this is 81, you guys. This is a oh. long running program now. Yeah, I love that year. Oh, Val, yeah. Were you, were, were you even born 81? No, ma'am. My oldest sister was. My sister was 81, baby. <laughs> 81, baby. Well, well you girls look gorgeous. Lisa, I'm mm -hmm. happy to see you, but you mentioned uh, on the uh, phone earlier that you're having a little bit of a bad, bad day. I got some bummer news today. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Mickey, this is going to be a shocker to you too. Um, my 99 cent store, my Dollar Tree is no longer a 99 cent store. They bumped their crap up to $1.25. I am freaking pissed. Pissed. Very livid. So livid. have they changed their name to the $1.25 cent store? No. But I told you guys, remember when I went to CVS, a gallon of bleach was $10? It's like all the prices are going up. Have you bought your turkey yet? You'll notice when you go buy your turkey. That's crazy, y'all. We want to say a big thank you to Mel of beyondtheveil.com. By the way, if you're not already following Mel for fantastic astrology and just, by the way, she's really funny on Instagram. She's a great person to follow just for humor alone. Uh, we have all of her information here in the YouTube description. We love Mel of, again, beyondtheveil.com. And she set us up for the month of December. Depending on your star sign, it's going to be either really great or a little questionable. <laughs> I know Lisa wasn't thrilled with hers, but hey, that's okay. I was really a bum. I was, I'm Aquarius and um, yeah. She says I have a yeah. very sad December. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not. Thanks, sad. Mel. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, universe. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> it's a blast. It's, it's a party. Good. It's a party in our pants. <laughs> it makes me do the hula dance. It makes yes. me do the hula dance. You know what else makes me do the hula dance is our- What does? The Gawcast. <gasps> if you like our show here, you can get the full unedited version in your earbuds. So you can listen to it while you're working out, while you're cooking dinner, all the things. Um, and you can, it's just go to the Gawcast. Thanks to a wrestling gal. She's got some amazing podcasts too, if you're a podcast listener. And um, while you're over in iTunes, you know, downloading all your favorite podcast go ahead and download the official theme song for our show the official theme song for empower what is it grown ass woman grown ass right woman. the musical the, the, music, the musical. musical number new video too the, the oh, video is amazing i can't wait 
Yes. yes, all very exciting. A lot of candy for your ears, ear candy, if you will. And if you're noticing behind me, I know these leopard PJs are very distracting, but I do have a Ga TV pillow here because it's one thing to watch the show. It's quite another to represent the show. Great conversation starter to wear our Ga TV merchandise. And in our store, in the YouTube description, you can see all of the merchandise we have, fanny packs, shirts, pillows, coffee mugs, and we hope that you'll represent Ga TV. And of course, as Lisa mentioned, perks of our Patreon, you can even get merchandise discounts as a patron so head on over there too speaking of discounts mm. you know you know if you guys watch you know little mickey james this past weekend um you know she's looking a little jacked and stacked thanks oh. to legacy subs mm -hmm. legacy subs baby there you go there you go PM. recovery yeah, pm weekend. right by the bedside right by the bedside, right by the bedside. Yeah. Yeah. Ready. you get it what's our discount code oh well, we a little G A W. That's right. Gaw. That's it. Very easy, easy breezy Japanese. -y. Yeah, we don't want you to think too hard about it, so we made it super easy. <laughs> Three letters, you know. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And uh, well, don't we have a special guest, you guys? Dude, very excited for this excited. one. Mickey, yeah, Mickey, excited. drum roll. <laughs> oh wow! Look there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about this. I know uh, I was in OBW with him and he we came up around the same time and he's a dear friend of mine. Lisa, I know you know him very well. Val, I know you're going to love him. Uh, yes. So, um, please, without further ado, welcome Mr. Johnny Gita. I'm feeling the spirit. Let's get him yes. in. Johnny! <laughs> we can What's hear going you. on? I know. Oh my God, you have not changed at all. You look exactly <laughs> the exact same thing. And I'm loving, I'm digging your freaking background. So do you go to a lot of comic cons? I do. Yeah, I've dressed up a few times. I'm one of those guys so that no. I do. Yeah, I wore the Ghostbuster. Like when I was after I left wrestling and I went to college, I was like bored sitting in my like my little like studio apartment. I was like, oh, I got, you know, I got so I'm bored. I should play video games or I could do something like, let me just build a proton pack. So I was a Ghostbusters fan. So I built that proton pack right there and wow. ended up getting this stuff. I was, I'm, I was kind of a loser. Anyway, I just, yeah, I'd go yeah, to college. That's and cool. <laughs> oh my God. No, we love comic cons. And I did one with um, Ernie Hudson years and years ago. And there was a, oh, a whole family did? dressed as Ghostbusters. They had a baby Stay Puffed uh, Marshmallow Man. Oh, that's baby awesome. Dressed as him. Yeah. Are you excited for the new film? I did. I saw it the other day, actually, with my yeah. And I I, I felt bad because I was with my uh, I was with my 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 wife. I was with her her uh, uh, sorry her parents and then like her grandparents, and like it was an IMAX, so like it was super loud. And I think her grand was like hurting her grandparents' ears, and like I felt bad. And, like I'm sure the last movie they wanted to see on Earth was probably Ghostbusters, but they kind of went. We had dinner and a movie, but like you know, it you know it was good. I liked it. Was it good? Was it good? Was it disappointing? Uh, I mean, good, not great. I, I, maybe I'm, you know, I don't know. Old it's school. no, I, it just had a slow start. I was waiting for something to happen. It didn't feel like a Ghostbusters movie, but uh, but like you know, the ending's cool. It, it it was good. It was it wasn't a bad movie. It just it wasn't. It didn't didn't do it for me. I guess. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I'm obsessed with comic cons, and people are like, know, "Why do you I do see so many comic cons?" Yeah, okay, so Domino, do some Domino, Cliff Compton was going, God dang, you do a lot of Comic Cons. I go, but you guys don't know that I'm internally a geek and a nerd, and I love this stuff. I even have a, a Ghostbusters outfit for my dog, Levy. Love it. So, awesome. yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fellow nerd, so don't be ashamed. We're nerd, <laughs> we're nerds, and we're proud. I'm a loser. Now, you're, in the, you're in the right place, is what she's trying to say, with all friends. Awesome. I'd like well, to virtually you. meet you. This is exciting. I know. I feel like I met you a long time ago i did like a show with mondo and don in like jersey and i we were doing some signing at some convention and it was like our first convention ever actually and uh i think i think i met you and, and yeah you were super sweet and it's been a while since are I you sure that was me no, okay <laughs> you sure it wasn't a total yeah uh, yeah i, I think i was gonna mention that because i have the opportunity to dress up as a spirit squad cheerleader a few times and manage no, Ben kenny yeah <laughs> In, uh, in Jersey a couple of times. And I was just like, I love the theme <laughs> and I love the spirit squad. So I was like, this is awesome. like kind of a mark out moment for me. So I love that. Oh, moment. cool. Oh, well, that means a lot. Thank Mickey's you very much. Right now. <laughs> Iconic, I love Iconic. Mickey's face right now. That's, I'm just looking at Mickey. <laughs> no. I, well, I remember Jeter. I remember you loving video games. 
You should get your own Twitch stream, bro. You love wow. the Oh, do it. I know. You know how you hard it is. Like, I, I got my wife, my dog. I work nine to five during the day. And then like after she gets off work, we got to go to walk the dog and I cook and clean. When am I going to find time to play video games? Like, sorry, honey, I'm plugging into the matrix. I got to play. I got to make that money. <laughs> my fans are counting on me to play video so you games. don't play video games. <laughs> yeah. Anymore. Yeah. Well, I do. Well, in between meetings at work, you know, if like it's slow day at work. Yeah. You can make money at it. So you're still, you're making, you're making income. So it's not, it, it's a, it's That's a guilty pleasure, it. but it's your passion and you're making money off of it. I don't understand yeah. what's. And if you know yeah, what you're but, doing, unlike me, I'm not, I'm not a huge gamer unless you count like Lego Jurassic Park. Which I totally like. You That's know, a fun year. Yeah. I won it, you know, within like a year. So I think I'm pretty. No, I'm kidding. It took me forever to defeat that <laughs> That's game. Fun. But no, but if, if you do love it, yeah, it's it's actually a cool thing. I think fans would love to play with you, and 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 if you're knowledgeable about video games, <laughs> people would love to play with you. That got weird. <laughs> People love to play with it. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll look at that. The only time I really, honestly, I usually play, I, I, I have a short attention span for it now. I used to like play those one player games, but the multiplayer, all that stuff. I, yeah. I, don't know. I usually play, get on Roblox with my nephew. That's fun. And then, Are uh, you on Roblox? See, I am I, on Roblox. <laughs> I, okay, I'm going to friend you. I think I found my Twitch. I think I found it. Did Don you? Lynch has made me download Roblox that I can play with him. So I, and I, of course I've downloaded it so I can get note. I see when he goes on and yeah. he's, he's playing yeah. he's in there in the chat room. Oh, it's, yeah. it's crazy what these kids do. Like my nephew, like he's like, Oh, he's like, Uncle Johnny. He, oh, he'll text me. Josh will text me and say, yeah, uh, Ashton wants to play with you Roblox. So I'll log on with them and get on the mic and he'll be like, Uncle Johnny, you want to play squid games? And I'm like, squid games. <laughs> you wanna play? So then we log yeah, we log on to Roblox because Roblox, it's like, I don't know. There's all these different games you can play. You just have like an avatar or player. You can play whatever you want, you know, uh, Escape from Prison. There's Police. And, and there's other people, right? Like, right. Not, like it's all free games. Like, oh, love honest. the mask. <laughs> I am freaking up. I'm obsessed with that show. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I cut you off, Nikki. Good... You got it. Do you make money off of Roblox? No, you don't. No, you no. Don't. So okay. it's just a game, and it's honestly, it's go, we're going really crazy with kids right now. I think that's the big thing. But I feel like I don't know enough about it, but I feel like almost anyone can create a game and upload it to that platform with these Roblox players, right? Like, oh. right? Yeah. yeah. You, so and then yeah, other you got people can go in those worlds and play those. So we play like a Chuggington game, and then there's one like little new maze that we keep playing. I don't know what the name of that one is, but I just go into the games that he's playing. Those are the yeah. ones I know. There's one called Piggy where this piggy hunts you. You have to find keys and stuff like that. And even like red light, green light, you're, you're running with your avatar and it looks like the squid game and you're running. And like, if you, if you don't stop when it says red light, like your guy will get, get torched. Like, get hit, you're, and oh, you're no. dead. Yeah. You're finished. But like, the yeah, kids were all into, um, and I hosted a convention for it. Weirdly enough, it did not go well. But kids were really into Minecraft for a long time. Is that like not cool anymore? I don't know. I tried that, but I don't, yeah, I, I didn't have the pay. You, you just build stuff. Yeah. You know, but uh, my nephew yeah. liked it when he was like nine, yeah. ten. My yeah, some kids are all kids. about that, but yeah, Minecraft. Yeah, the first, but they look like little Legos running around. And I think that's why Donovan loved it because they actually like look like little Lego figures, kind of. And right? he's obsessed yeah. with Legos. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Well, oh that that took a whole twist there, but I'm excited about it. Um, dude, what are you guys? Dr- what are you guys drinking? Well, that's what I was getting ready to say. That's one of the questions that we always ask: Who you wearing? What you drinking? Dude. And as you can see, I'm represented. Oh, love it! The manicure wrestling and a little love the shirt. But I gotta I send you guys shirts. <laughs> Oh, we'd love that. Actually, I texted you, Jeter, and I said, "Hey, do you want to send me a shirt so I can wear it for your episode?" I, oh, uh, I didn't get it. Maybe I, you have my wrong I, number. I don't know. Uh, maybe. I'll, the, maybe. I'll, 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 I'll okay. respond in the email with, with my new number. But yeah, I'll be okay. I'd love to send you guys shirts so I can add you to my testimonial section. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> in my website. Oh, we awesome. finally made it. We, we finally made it, girls. We finally Thank made God. it. New, new sponsor <laughs> for Thanks, God's Jeter. Jeter. Thanks, Jeter. Um, <laughs> finally well, made it. Well, our guest of honor, who are you wearing? I think we already know. And what are you drinking this uh, this fine evening, sir? Yeah, so I'm wearing Manacore Wrestling Academy and... Uh, 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 this don't, okay. This is, was my summer of COVID was like one of the, the funnest summers I ever had. We, we kind of quarantined with our neighbors. We had pool parties. We drank, we smoked like in our smoker, like meats and stuff and barbecue and everything. And they got me hooked on this incredible. You think he was going to say he was smoking, he was smoking. 
<laughs> I, was smoking I thought that's where it was going. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but just... may, may I just say these sparkling ices oh, with yeah. like with vodka? Oh my god! If you just get a tumbler, two shot, fill it with top of the ice, two shots measured with with like in, <laughs> like mix some of these like sparkling ice. Incredible locale. Well, supposed to be not like bad. Chemo friendly, by the way. I, I see them all the time on my low carb yeah. groups and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, low cap, but they just, you don't even take, like you, next thing you know, you're in the pool and you're, you've had like three of them and you're like, oh, wow, I've had six shots in a matter of an hour. Like, you know, but, oh, but that's okay. You know, we're having that's a good time, right. you know, Whip, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys drinking? <laughs> uh, I'll say, I'll save Lisa for last. I don't know. I feel like she's might be doing a big reveal because I see a zipper. No, I had, oh, you go, you go first though. You know? <laughs> you're always we don't last. know how this night's going to go. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I am. It's I, done, I, done, I, done. I love a vodka soda, and this is not coffee. I mean, I don't know who everyone nice. is kidding. I mean, of course, it's in a mug, sure, but it's it's not coffee. Uh, but it, but it will make you feel good. It is raspberry vodka soda. But when Ooh, I'm being nice. really good on like low carb, I'll try to do just plain vodka and like a, like a low calorie flavoring. But I do have raspberry vodka here at the house with some uh, plain soda, and I am in a lovely silky pjs set because listen when we started this show we were like it's a slumber party mm -hmm. but then we've had so many different themes we kind of go off topic but i'm kind of glad to get back to i've been in america for a while but it's fun to come back to my house get cozy and get back to that sort of slumber party feel yes. so yeah nice love it <laughs> you're sexy wow. you cheers cougar, you you cougar <laughs> and i'm just you i'm just cougar. partaking i am i'm in my last bottle of wine um, my boyfriend on his way home, he goes, do you need wine? And I'm like, no, you can just come home and relax. And he goes, but how many bottles of wine do you have? I go, I actually opened it for our show. And he goes, I'll go to CVS. I'll get it for you. What a so, nice yeah. guy. No, no, no BevMo, no Costco today, but I'm drinking, <laughs> it's, called, it's called, it's called Bound. I don't know. It's, it's okay. okay. I always put these okay. little toppers on just to kind of make the, the wine taste. They say it's supposed to taste better, but better. like, like you guys said, it's like, we were supposed to do a pajama party and how many pajamas can you freaking own? I don't own pajamas. I wear a t-shirt and, you know. Some good pajamas. holiday ones at Walmart. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I know. But I, I <laughs> yeah. hate shopping, Jeter. I what? freaking hate shop. I hate shopping. I like Amazon. No, no. This COVID ruined me, dude. I'm so antisocial. I don't like people. I like animals. I like being home with my dog. And no. I just like, now it's like, I got so comfortable being home and not traveling so much that it's, I'm exhausted from it. I, it's chilly here in San Diego for me. I'm oh, cold. I love San Diego. So, come, yeah, 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 yeah. You're a San Diego boy. I am, yeah. Chargers, oh. hell. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But where yeah. do you live now, OC? I'm in uh, Northern California. I'm, I'm uh, 30 minutes east of Sacramento, about uh, an hour outside of Tahoe. Well, I might be oh, at God. the Sacramento um, Comic-Con I'm yeah. trying to get on. Are you? Oh yeah. You're hey, can you please stay or like we'd love to meet up, grab dinner, grab a drink? Look at all the stuff. Yeah, play with Heck yeah. Thing. Oh Heck yeah. <laughs> <It's a room. laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah. I just I've been collecting this stuff since like like Vicky and I were in OVW. Like even in like middle school, like I just was collecting comics and graphic novels. And, yeah. yeah, I just very impressive. Wow. Yeah. Holy moly. Look at that. Who's that slam doll? Who's, what's that slammy um plush doll? Who's that? Oh, that, that's, uh, that's the demolition man, Johnny Jr. Oh. <laughs> oh, la la. Oh. Yeah, and actually, that face right there is, uh, oh. if, if you look at my, my shrine, obviously, if you zoom in on that middle photo, that's the same face I sent them for, like, I don't know if you can see it, that middle Those one. Are so custom, cute. You custom made it? You custom made it? Yeah, I think Cassidy or someone posted that they they had some custom buddy man. I'm like, I want a custom buddy. So like, yeah, they they did a good job though. You know, that's so yeah, they, cool. They, I mean, I mean, my face is a little fatter than I prefer, but you know. <laughs> Kevin Cassidy? <laughs> you Kevin Cassidy? Cassidy? Or Cassidy Riley? I don't know if you know. Oh, oh okay. I know Cassidy. Yep. Early no, Cassidy, Impact yeah. Wrestling yeah. TNA days, Nashville, Nashville boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good He's, dude. He runs with the Chase Stevens Storm old school crew Stormwatch. yes he does not yeah. impact we're talking tnh hashtag storm watch yes <laughs> god i remember when jared was first starting that we went down to nashville fairgrounds and and he was up there scouting talent for that but Cornette, yeah i think well i don't know if it was Cornette, but someone said i think it was burt prentice told him like oh those are jim Cornette's boys so then they never you know we weren't signed at the time when cage and i were going down there but they yeah. didn't that i don't think they politics. wanted to, to cause bad politics so but. yeah what are you drinking mickey I'm drinking this truly right here. It's a little raspberry tea. 
Mm-hmm. You're on the truly train, huh? Um, yeah, well, I thought it was a sipper. I still got, you know, I still got a lot of do, and I feel like if I was to commit to a liquor, then I would be done for because I've I've had a long weekend. Oh, yeah, you've been doing a lot of traveling. Review and taping. Well, tell, us, and, tell us, tell us what you're, where you're, you're, oh, but when I you just told us. Clients, and I'm huh? downstairs. Here, so. oh. <laughs> but like, how many, how many tapings you did this weekend, Mickey? That's incredible. Pay per view and four tapings. Oh my God! Is that four match, like four matches or promos and matches? No, four, but four TVs, right? Oh my right. God! Something on each TV, but yeah. There was a time when Impact Wrestling was, was doing like, what right was it? I think I said this on an episode a long time ago, but hey, here we're here, so you're gonna you're gonna hear this damn story again. Don't you dare log out. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it was like uh, I think Ken Anderson was like, we're all going out afterwards, like, dude, you know when are you gonna be done? Come meet us out for drinks. And he's like, I'm, I'm match number 32. I'm like, you're hilarious. He's like, no, Val sent me a photo <laughs> of the lineup. It was like thir- 38 matches of the night. And I was like, oh my God, these people, wow. I mean, they filmed so many. At, it's it's very cost effective, but those were long nights. Even when after I left, they got even longer. It wasn't like that, thank God. Like, I Ooh. mean, it started at a normal, they condensed it because on TV taping days, they're not waiting for commercials and stuff like that. There's, so, mm-hmm. but there's also other content. So there's like the BTI and Impact that's being taped so there's like you know backstage wow. my god can i can i ask you guys a question because i know you guys are like really you guys have like stayed in the wrestling business for as long as i can remember but like i feel like it's it's just evolved and changed so much to the point where like wow i watch the i watch these matches and i'm like i feel like and again they're all talented and, and everyone's athletic and everyone has the you know I, I have nothing but respect for those guys but then I'm like, like, wow, they just no sold like five kicks to the face and then shot them off in reverse. So they did, there's all these little things that I'm like, I would have been fired for that, <laughs> you, know? Yeah. you know? And and I'm like, I don't think I could, rem- I don't think I could last now. And I don't think I could remember all these spots. <laughs> that was going to be one of my questions to you was like, how do you think it's evolved? Because yeah, and, and, and I'm sure when you watch oh it, just like these ladies, you you have to, it's like if you're an actor watching a movie, you're going to like, you know, tediously Critique pick it, it apart. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, like I, I completely agree. It's that, like, there was like, oh, I would love to see you in versus Charlotte, and I'm like, oh god, she freaking kick my ass. I can't work that fast. I can't do all those moves. I'm more like stalking my Take prey and do work a couple a hold. moves, and then like, <laughs> work a hold. yeah, yeah, yeah. Work a hold. <laughs> yes, yes. You're and like, like, hey. Jesus Christ, shit can me. Get me out of the ring. I need to take a breath. I need a breather. Yeah, commercial break. Shit can me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't, I, can't, I can't keep up with this new talent. They're, they're incredible. Yeah, they are right. incredible. But then I go, if you look at the people who are truly like doing, like making the money and like doing a lot of the stuff, I don't think that they're working like that a lot, most of them. Mm. Yeah. You know? I, and, and that's what I wondered, like, are, are like, are they trying to sign guys? Are they trying to evolve the bit? It almost seems more indie-ish than, than it used to be when we were there. And Yeah, I always thought that that was more indie style, right? And obviously that's filtered in because the audiences have, you know, or I don't really know if we could, I think that there would, somewhere along the line, they started catering because it started to evolve and it became more on television, on an on television wow. thing, where that was usually the separation between TV wrestling and indie wrestling right. why there was the split but now they've kind of merged a bit more but i was, I I was imagine watching like us like um, um, being in obw speaking of obw we're all oh. nice you know oh. Uh, oh can you imagine doing that kind of match oh. uh, can you imagine doing that kind of match and coming back to face jim Cornette? what the fuck was that or, or, or Danny David? <laughs> for god damn <laughs> No, yeah. know, I've seen him get heated before. It is terrifying. It is terrifying. Oh yeah. I love your yeah. cordet, but I was just like, oh, oh, he's a very intense individual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was your time in an OVW cheater? Like, is there like any like cool stories that like you're like, oh my god, this one time. Okay, oh. he has it. You can see his oh. face. <laughs> or is there too <laughs> many <laughs> times? Uh, or Mickey, or is there too many times? Too actually, many times? I- <laughs> no well man there's this i don't know it, there was i i i loved my time in ovw and i think 
I don't think you realize you're in the good years of your life until you're not in them anymore. And I think when wrestling, you, you think about like, oh man, I'm an OVW. And like, I just want to get called up like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But then you think about like how much fun we had it. Like, it's almost like when you watch the show Friends, like we were all in our, like, you know, we're all, we're all young. We're all like living in the same apartment complexes. We had like open doors. People were coming in and out. We were all, we, we had none of our families there, but we were each other's family. And so you're going to practice, you're going on the road, you're doing these matches. Like you, you kind of form these personal bonds with people and then they become yeah. your family. And I think that's what I miss most. And now that everyone's scattered across the U S and we keep it, it's nice at Facebook and Instagram, you see what's going on in their lives. Um, but I, but I, I miss that aspect of it because like, now that I'm in NorCal, like I work from home full time, you know, I go to the gym at night and I walk my dog at lunch, but I, it's hard to meet people. And I'm like, I, I miss, I miss that bond, that camaraderie that OBW allowed and, and provided for us. And, uh, and yeah, no, I, I had a great time there. It was, uh, you know, I think in your, you know, at, you know, when you're 18, you're in your twenties, you're kind of growing into who you're going to be the rest of your life. Right. And I really feel like OBW helped mold me into who I am today. So it was a uh, very, yeah. very very positive experience there. And uh, yeah. Can I'll, I'll you give us it. a rundown of like, who, who, who are your running mates? Like who was in your circle? Who are the people? Cause I think that fans love to think about that. And it, by the way, it's a really cool uh, poignant statement that you made about how you have to appreciate it when you're there. Cause you're always just looking on to the next thing, but actually you're thinking, wow, that was a really cool time in my life. But who, who was your, in your circle? Like, who are you hanging out with? Who's your crew? Oh, man, my crew. I think it, it depends on the time period. But when I first moved to Louisville, I was living in this basement in Audubon Park. And uh, I was working at Chili six days a week. And the, my, my two friends were Magnus, Mark Magnus, or Muhammad Hassan, and Chris Cage. And uh, Chris was driving from Youngstown, Ohio. He was Kaylin Croft, I think, on SmackDown. Um, da -na 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 -na. I don't remember. No, 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 no. Remember him? Cage? What happened to him? Muhammad Hassan. Oh, Muhammad Hassan. He's living in New York, still jacked and shredded as huge. Damn. Uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's a principal, I think. And, uh, you know, we're, so not, we're, we're, we're in a fantasy football league, and I always tease him about being as jacked and shredded as he is. But, uh, yeah, no, but I would, I would say Mark and Cage are my friends. And then we were driving to Nashville a lot, um, working the fairgrounds just because we couldn't work OVW TV because we weren't signed. And then uh, I was in – the I then I went, we eventually went to the advanced class and I think Lisa was in there when they're like you know there was Cena there was Orton there was Brock there was Batista there was Flash there was well, Flair Shelton it was, it was stacked it was so that was stacked a, that was a good Eugene one. Eugene Rob Eugene Conway with all these Conway. like mega stars mega stars yeah yeah, yeah it, and it, it was just a, such an awesome time and 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 yeah but i would say my my core two guys was probably magnus and uh and cage but like matt morgan he would sometimes come in and you know the uh blueprint. Yep. The, the blueprint and and yeah i'm sure there's like probably stories that <laughs> you know but we had a good time yeah 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 before you go though jeter yeah. where can everyone find you so if they want to go follow you right now oh okay right if you now. want to follow me <laughs> right now <laughs> uh at j jeter 310 on instagram i'm on there a lot or facebook johnny jeter um or manicore wrestling academy if you're interested in following thing or you can go to the website at manicore wrestling academy.com and uh just contact me if you're interested in training yay Are you i need fine? to get on twitter but yeah. i'm not on twitter are you going to make me a backpack, a G.I. Joe backpack? G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe Ghostbusters. That was Ghostbusters. That's what it is. Ghostbusters proton pack. Yeah. Hey, absolutely. Yeah. And by the way, I have a ton of stuff. You ever need it for you? You will win Halloween costumes with all the stuff I got. Dude, yeah. like, look at, I, I got I got I've seen you guys dressed got... up. I've seen you. Dressed Captain up. America. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Dude, go ahead, I Mickey. Gotta... I've seen Mickey, you need to drop that in cosplay. Yeah. Jeter needs to do it for your you. own. You, no, Nick. you for your only fans. No, you do. Yeah. You do. The fans are waiting with breath that is <laughs> they are waiting. Nikki cosplay, yes. Well, who are you going to yeah. call? Johnny Jeter. This has been such fun. We're oh. going to raise our glass to you, sir. This has been cheers, so much cheers. fun. Cheers. Thank cheers. Love cheers. You, you guys. Success. Thank you again. Thank Love you. you. As we mentioned, everything you need to know is in the YouTube description to make sure that you're getting all of the updates from Johnny Jeter. And of course, thank you again to Mel from beyondtheveil.com. Her info is in the description as well. Cheers and have a great night, Cheers. everybody. We love you. Cheers, guys. Thank you. This is the word to go, 